Brittany Force, driver of the Monster Energy Top Fuel Dragster. And we're out in Indy getting ready to go into our biggest race of the season, that's the U.S. Nationals. It's the mix of everything in this sport. It's climbing into that race car and turning those wind lights on. It's the adrenaline, it's the speed. It's, I mean, it's crazy. It's 10,000 horsepower, 330 miles per hour in less than four seconds. There's nothing like that out there. I, I love the competitive side of it. It's watching my team pull together and pull off a win. You know, I, I always get all the credit because I'm the driver, but it takes every single one of my guys to make it all happen and there's nothing better than celebrating the winner's circle with them at the end of the day. I grew up out at all these different racetracks as a kid. You know, my sisters and my mom and I, we'd, we'd pack up our bags in the summer and we'd go from racetrack to racetrack, and really that was the only way to see my dad. He didn't come home often, he was on the road every single weekend, so these racetracks kind of became a second home to you know my sisters and I, and, and the people out here, his team, his crew guys, they became family to us, and I never thought I'd be driving a top field dragster, but opportunity came along and I wasn't going to turn it down, and I fell in love with the sport. This job would be a lot harder if I didn't have my family out here. We are in and out of airports. We are in a different hotel every single week having my dad out here with me. My mom comes to every single race. And my sister who's you know competing in a funny car, it makes it that much better that your support system is right there and their family. Um, it would definitely be more of a challenge to be out here without them. We don't get home too often, so you know when you're out on the road, my team, they become my family. But it does have its um, ups and downs, obviously. Working with family, I mean, we travel together, we work together, we do everything together, and sometimes too much time is just, especially with my dad, he's. He's such a character, sometimes it's too much. And you need to step back and take a break from him. You see that burnout was for you. Did you see it? Anybody see that burnout? My dad always means well. He's just, he wants to be a boss on every le level. Personal life's at home. He wants to be completely involved in and have the say. So um, that's definitely tough to find that balance, but I still wouldn't have it any other way. There's this event once a year in Norwalk, Ohio. It's a match race. It's this huge event. It pulls in tons of fans. There's no rules um, at that race. Anything goes. And the fans wanted to see a top fuel car versus a funny car. And dragsters are faster than, they're, they're quicker than um, funny cars. But there was nothing cooler than pulling up on the line, doing burnouts, and looking over and seeing my dad back up and knowing, wow, like, I'm racing my dad. I remember watching him in the stands as a kid. Like, there was nothing cooler than it. And he completely kicked our butt. Uh, I, my car went out 60 feet, blew the tires off the thing. There was no chance for me, and he went straight down the racetrack. But still, that's one of my favorite moments in racing was having him in the lane next to me and, and racing against him. A lot of people are under the idea that drag racing, you just step on the gas and it's easy. Um, they don't know what goes into it, how much is involved, how many people are involved, what it takes mentally, physically, everything that plays into going around and winning a race. And you can compare it to other you know, motorsports, but in our sport, it's tough, it's not easy. You don't get a chance to make up for if there's a fault somewhere. If I screw up as a driver, if one of my guys screws up on the car, you're done. There's no making up for it, because it's over in four seconds. So for us, you have to be the best every time you go to the line. There is no room for mistakes, and when you bring it up there, it's game on. You know, every time you climb in that car, that risk is out there. Um, we've put a lot of safety in these cars, and the support system I have around me, I trust every single one of my guys. I trust that when we go up to the line, I have the safest car out there. If you're gonna be out here for years, it's bound to happen. The day I wake up and I don't love it anymore, I shouldn't be climbing into it because it can be dangerous. You have to absolutely love it every time you climb in that car. There's definitely a difference between having nerves, because I have nerves every time I climb in that car, especially first round 
on race day, there's there's nothing like it. But there's a difference between nerves and, and being terrified. You shouldn't be driving a car if, if you're terrified, it, obviously. Every weekend's different. I mean, it's the typical Friday, we get two qualifying sessions. Saturday, you get two more qualifying sessions. And they take the top 16 cars and line them up going into race day. And there's four rounds on race day, and you want to be the last one standing. Pressure is the hard thing. I learned that last year. It came down to the final race of the season, fighting for a championship. We were second in points, and you know the guy ahead of us was only rounds ahead of us. We just had to go around past him. And there was nothing like going into Pomona, last race of the season, it was second round. The guy ahead of us had gone out, and as long as we could get our car down there first, turn on a win light, we would be champions. That was my biggest fear last season, was cracking under pressure, because I'd never been faced with anything like that ever in my career. And there is nothing like getting in your head like that. But I took a lot of advice from my dad. I pulled up there and yes, you have that fire in your gut because the championship's on the line. But you don't want it to overpower to where you change your routine and you do something different and you screw up. So you have to tell yourself it's like any other race. And when it came down to it, we did not miss a beat that weekend. And we ended up winning the race. So something I'm so proud of, there's nothing like it in the world. Brittany bumps forward in the left side. Mike Salinas in the right. Want to be number one, 3.706. Or better. 3.666. 333 miles an hour. Hey, Norwalk, was that worth waiting for? Mike Salinas goes 374 at 327. But Brittany Force throws down 2.94 seconds at the eight. 296 miles an hour, and the Monster Energy team goes right back to the top. The quickest and fastest top fuel run in the history of America's racetrack. Low ET top speed track records for Brittany Force.